Singaporean cuisine is diverse and contains elements derived from several ethnic groups, as a result of its history as a seaport with a large immigrant population. Influences include the cuisines of the native Malays, the largest ethnic group, the Chinese and the third largest ethnic group, the Indians as well as Indonesian, Peranakan and Western traditions, particularly English and Portuguese-influenced Eurasian, known as Christing. Influences from other regions such as Sri Lanka, Thailand and the Middle East are also present. In Singapore, food is viewed as crucial to national identity and a unifying cultural thread. Singaporean literature declares eating a national pastime and food a national obsession. Food is a frequent topic of conversation among Singaporeans. Religious dietary strictures do exist, Muslims do not eat pork and Hindus do not eat beef, and there is also a significant group of vegetarians, vegans. People from different communities often eat together, while being mindful of each other's culture and choosing food that is acceptable for all. Other than Singaporean cuisine, it is also common in Singapore to find restaurants specializing in cuisine from a great variety of countries around the world. Hawker centers When dining out, Singaporeans often eat at hawker centers, coffee shops or food courts rather than restaurants, due to convenience, a wider range of options and affordability. These hawker centers are widespread, cheap and usually feature dozens of stalls in a single complex, with each stall offering its own specialty dishes. Well-known hawker centers include Lao Pa Sat and Newton Food Center. Coffee shops are non-air-conditioned versions of food courts and are commonly found island-wide, usually at the bottom of blocks of HDB flats. Hawker centers are the place where people can experience all kinds of different cultural food in one place. Hawker centers, or open-air food courts, have come to define Singaporean food culture. Popular markets like Old Airport Road Food Center in Gailing, Golden Mile Food Center on Beach Road and Maxwell Road Food Center in Chinatown offer the best of Malaysian, Chinese and Indian cooking, wrapped into foods that are uniquely Singaporean. In 2016, Hong Kong soya sauce chicken rice and noodle and Hill Street Thai Wa pork noodle became the first two street food locations in the world to be awarded a Michelin star. The former also gained the title of the world's cheapest Michelin starred meal. Singapore food internationally Singaporean food is a significant cultural attraction for tourists and visitors. Some Singaporean dishes have become internationally known. In 2011, four Singaporean dishes were included in the list of World's 50 Most Delicious Foods readers. Pick. A worldwide online poll by 35,000 people held by CNN International. They are Hainanese chicken rice 13th, chili crab 29th, katong laksa 44th, and roti prata 45th. Anthony Bourdain brought international attention to local food available in hawker centers on his show, No Reservations. He featured Tian Tian chicken rice and Maxwell Food Center on the program. Bourdain has also publicly spoken about hoping to feature four Singaporean dishes in his upcoming food hall in New York City. Gordon Ramsay participated in a Hawker Heroes Challenge, held in Singapore in 2013, and he lost 6% of the overall vote. Losing to Ryan Ko representing 328 Katong Laksa and Fu Kui Lian representing Tian Tian Chicken Rice, he graciously accepted defeat. He mentioned being in absolute awe of the hawkers, and was humbled by how they welcomed him into their kitchens and taught him to cook. YouTube personality Mike Chen, better known by his username Strictly Dumpling, has created several videos bringing attention to local cuisine on his channel. Over the course of eight videos he highlighted Singaporean street food, hawker centers, local buffets and restaurants. These videos have a combined view count of over 5.5 million views. Singaporean cuisine has been promoted as a tourist attraction by the Singapore Tourism Board. The Singapore Food Festival, held every year in July, is a celebration of Singapore's cuisine. The Overseas Singaporean Unit also organizes Singapore Day in major cities around the world as a platform for Singaporeans living abroad. One of Singapore Day's major draws is the local Singaporean hawker food, which is prepared on site by well known hawkers specially flown in for the event. Background and history 
Singapore is geographically located in between the Pacific and Indian Oceans but it also has shape of peninsula and island at same time, where various cultures and trades are flowing. Indonesia is located to the south, Thailand, China, the Philippines and Malaysia are located to the north and India is located to the west. Since Singapore's position is between various Asian countries, there is a diversity in food and culture. When Stamford Raffles sought to convert Singapore into a trading post for the East India Company in 1819, immigrants from China, Malaya, India, Indonesia, Europe, the United States and the Middle East flocked to the island. The culture of Singapore is made up of diverse influences from different continents and countries. This led Singapore cuisine to be mixed cultural society food. Like many other Asian countries, Singapore experienced a period of colonization. Singapore used to be colonized by Britain from the early 19th century to the mid-20th century, and like most of Asian countries did, they were ruled by Japan during World War II. Colonization of Japan also influenced Singaporean cuisine. For instance, yi sang, which Singaporean Chinese enjoy eating during the Lunar New Year, includes raw fish. Raw fish is rare ingredient to put in dishes except for Japanese or Korean dishes. Food culture When a person is first meeting with a new person they ask, Have you eaten? It is one way to express a greeting to another person. It is also possible to assume that this is how Singaporeans think about the meal and food. Since Singapore is a mixed cultural nation there is a diverse range of people who might have different and restricted diets, such as Muslims and Hindus. Since Singapore is influenced by so many different regions, religion, and areas, there are also many events or anniversaries. During the Lunar New Year, people eat Nian Gao, which is originally from China, and is traditionally eaten around the Chinese New Year. Singapore's cuisine is as diverse as its culture. It is an extension of Malay cuisine but influenced by the Chinese, not to mention the Indians, Arabs, British and other settlers who have contributed to making Singapore one of the world's most important trading ports. Types of food and some world popular food Singaporean food can be divided into five types, meat, seafood, rice, noodles, and dessert or snacks. Singapore is especially renowned for its seafood. Chili crab and black pepper crab are two quintessential dishes that dominate the scene and are greatly recommended to tourists. Another favorite is sambal stingray. In the meat category, Hainanese chicken rice is the most popular dish. Essentially, it is rice cooked with chicken fat, served with boiled chicken, accompanied with chili sauce. Three noodle dishes stand out in Singapore cuisine. Fried Hokkien mee, fried egg noodles with prawns, sliced pork and gravy. Nanya laksa. Rice noodles served in a coconut prawn broth and char kui tiao. Stir fried rice noodles with prawns, Chinese sausage, lard and cockles. In the snack category, kaya toast is the representative dish, primarily due to the use of kaya. Kaya capitiums are a common sight on the island. These affordable coffee shops dish out bread toasts, spread with coconut jam and butter, served with coffee and tea. Common dishes and snacks Chinese The dishes that comprise Singaporean Chinese cuisine Today were originally brought to Singapore by the early southern Chinese immigrants Hokkien, Teochew, Cantonese, Hakka and Hainanese. They were then adapted to suit the local availability of ingredients, while absorbing influences from Malay, Indian and other cooking traditions. Most of the names of Singaporean Chinese dishes were derived from dialects of southern China, Hokkien, Min Nan, being the most common. As there was no common system for transliterating these dialects into the Latin alphabet, it is common to see different variants on the same name for a single dish. For example, ba kut teh may also be spelt bak kut teh, and char kui tiao may also be spelt char kui tiao. Bak kut teh, ru gu cha ru gu cha, pork rib soup made with a variety of Chinese herbs and spices. Beef kui tiao, niu ru guo tiao niu ru guo tiao, flat rice noodles stir fried with beef, served dry or with soup. 
Beef noodle soup, niu ru mian, niu ru mian, a noodle soup made of stewed or braised beef, beef broth and vegetables. Bak chong, ru zong, ru zong, glutinous rice dumplings, usually filled with pork, mushrooms and stewed egg, steamed in bamboo leaves. Although it is Chinese in origin, it is also a favorite in Peranakan cuisine. Bak chor mi, ru kuo mian, ru kuo mian. Minced pork noodles. Egg noodles with minced pork and other ingredients, served dry or in soup. Usually the flat tape-like mi pak noodle is used. Ban mian, ban mian, ban mian, handmade flat noodles served with vegetables, minced meat, sliced mushrooms, and an egg in an anchovy-based soup. Noodle variations are common. Ban mian refers to flat, long noodles. Mi hun kwai, mi fen guo, mi fen guo. Rice vermicelli cake refers to flat, rectangular noodles. Yu mian, yu mian, yu mian. Thin noodles refers to thin noodles. Chai to kui, kai tu guo, kai tu guo, also known as char kui, chao guo, chao guo, and incorrectly as carrot cake, is a dish of radish, daikon cakes, diced and stir fried with garlic, egg, chopped preserved radish, and sometimes with shrimp. This dish comes in black, fried with sweet dark soy sauce, or white, fried into an omelet, versions, with a chili paste sometimes added. Char kui tiao, chao guo tiao, chao guo tiao, thick flat rice noodles stir fried in dark soy sauce with shrimp, eggs, bean sprouts, fish cake, cockles, green leafy vegetables, Chinese sausage and fried cubes of lard. Char shao, cha shao, cha shao, also romanized cha su, cha su, cha sio, caa su and char su, is barbecued pork in Cantonese cuisine. Chicken noodles is an egg noodle dish with diced chicken meat. Crab bee hoon, pang xie mi fen, pang xie mi fen, is a rice vermicelli dish served with whole mud crab. It may be served dry or in soup and sometimes in a clay pot. Drunken prawns, zui sha zui sha, prawns cooked with rice wine. Duck rice, ya fan ya fan, braised duck served with rice cooked with yam and shrimp. It can be served simply with white rice and a thick dark sauce, or with braised hard-boiled eggs, preserved salted vegetables, and hard bean curd tau kua, on the side. Teochew boneless duck rice is a similar, but a more refined dish. The duck is deboned and sliced thinly, allowing the sauces to seep into the meat. Roasted duck rice is also commonly sold. Fish ball noodles, yu wan mian yu wan mian, similar to bak chor mi, except that fish balls are used instead of minced pork. Fish soup bi hun, yu pian mi fen yu pian mi fen, is a Singaporean soup based served hot with bi hun. Hei mi, sha mian sha mian, stir fried prawn noodles cooked in a broth made from prawn heads and pork bones, topped with ingredients such as prawns, sliced pork belly, squid, egg, lard, and served with sambal chili and lime at the side. Hainanese chicken rice, Hainan ji fan Hainan ji fan, is based on the Hainanese dish wanchong chicken. Hainanese curry rice is a dish consisting of steamed white rice smothered in a mess of curries and braised gravy. Har chung gai, sha jong ji, sha jong ji. Shrimp paste chicken. Chicken wings fried in a batter with fermented shrimp paste. Hokkien mi, fujian mi and fujian mi and egg noodles and rice noodles stir fried with egg, slices of pork, prawns and squid, and served and garnished with spring onion, lard, sambal chili and lime for adding lime juice to the dish. Hung chim pung, xian jian bing, xian jian bing, a deep fried bun like pastry sometimes filled with bean paste. Kaya toast, a traditional breakfast dish. Kaya is a sweet coconut and egg jam which is spread over toasted bread. Combined with a cup of local coffee and a half boiled egg, this constitutes a typical Singaporean breakfast. Kui chap kui chap, guo ji guo ji, a teochew dish of flat, broad rice sheets in a soup made with dark soy sauce, served with pig offal, braised duck meat, various kinds of bean curd, preserved salted vegetables, and braised hard-boiled eggs. Mi pak, mian bao mian bao, a noodle dish characterized by its flat and yellow appearance, varying in thickness and width. 
Min Chang Kue, Mian Jian Guo, Mian Jian Guo, a thick chewy pancake with a ground peanut and sugar filling. Other variations include grated coconut and red bean paste. This traditional snack also is served in blueberry, cheese and chocolate varieties. Pig's Brain Soup, Zhu Nao Tang, Zhu Nao Tang, a soup dish comprising pig brain with Chinese herbs. Pig Fallopian Tubes, a dish comprising stir-fried pig fallopian tubes with vegetables and sambal chili. Pig's Organ Soup, Zhu Za Tang, Zhu Za Tang. Pig Spare Parts Soup. A soup-based variant of Kwai Chap Pig's trotters usually braised in black sauce and vinegar. Papaya, Bao Bing Bao Bing, Hokkien, Teochew-style spring roll or rolled crepe, stuffed with stewed turnip, Chinese sausage, shrimp and lettuce. Shredded chicken noodles, GC Mian GC Mian, a noodles dish topped with shredded chicken, fish dumpling and mushroom. Sliced fish soup, Yupian Tang, Yupian Tang, a soup dish consisting of fish and vegetables. Sun Kue, Sun Guo, Sun Guo, a white vegetable dumpling with black soy sauce. Teochu porridge, Chao Jo Jo Chao Ju Jo, a rice porridge dish consumed with a selection of local side dishes. Turtle soup, Wu Gui Tang, Wu Gui Tang, a soup or stew made from turtle flesh. Vegetarian bi hoon, jai mi fen, jai mi fen, thin braised rice vermicelli to which a choice of various gluten, vegetable, or bean curd based delicacies may be added. Yang tao fu, niang do fu, a dish that contains a varied selection of food items, including tofu filled with ground meat mixture or fish paste, fish balls, crab sticks, an assortment of vegetables and meat. Yu Tiao, Yu Tiao, Yu Tiao, also called Yu Char Kue, Yu Za Guo, Yu Za Guo, fried dough crawlers similar to those served in other Chinese cuisines around the world. Malay Singaporean Malay dishes, influenced by the food of the Malay Peninsula, Sumatra, Java and the Riau Islands, tend to be adapted to local tastes and differ from their counterparts in neighboring countries. Although Malays are native to Singapore, most Malays in Singapore today are either relatively recent immigrants from Indonesia and Malaysia, or the descendants of these immigrants. Hence, Singaporean Malay cuisine features a unique set of influences, especially from Minang cuisine. Spices and coconut milk are common ingredients, although Chinese ingredients such as taupo, tofu puffs, and tofu, known as tauhu in Malay, have been integrated. Many Chinese and Tamil Muslim adaptations of the following dishes also exist. Pork is not used as it's prohibited in Islam. Akar, pickled vegetables or fruits with dried chili, peanuts, and spices. Indian and Peranakan versions can also be found. Assam pitas, seafood and vegetables cooked in a sauce consisting of tamarind, coconut milk, chili, and spices. Ayam panyet, fried chicken dish consisting of fried chicken that is smashed with a pestle against mortar to make it softer and a relatively new culinary phenomenon of Indonesian origin. Bakso, also bazo, meatballs served with noodles. Vegetal, mashed potato mixture that is fried into patties and eaten together with mi soto. Belican, not a dish in itself, but a shrimp paste commonly used in spice mixtures. Curry puff, also known as epic epic, a flaky pastry usually stuffed with curry chicken, potato cubes, and a slice of hard-boiled egg. Sardines are sometimes used in place of chicken. Dendeng Peru, a dish of dried beef lung cooked in spices. Goreng Pisang, bananas rolled in flour, fried, and eaten as a snack. Gudig Puda, white jackfruit curry. Gulai Don Ubi, sweet potato leaves stewed in coconut milk. Karapak, deep fried crackers usually flavored with shrimp, but sometimes with fish or vegetables. Katupat, rice cakes steamed in a square shaped coconut leaf wrapping and usually served with satay. Lamak seafood, shellfish cooked in a thick coconut milk based gravy. Kwe Tiao Goreng, stir fried flat rice noodles. Lontong, compressed rice cakes, see katupat, in a spicy vegetable soup. 
Mi rebus, egg noodles with a spicy slightly sweet curry-like gravy. The gravy is made from sweet potatoes, curry powder, water, salted soybeans, dried shrimp and peanuts. Mi goreng, a fried noodle dish commonly found in Singapore, Indonesia and Malaysia. Mi siam, a dish of thin rice vermicelli. Mi soto, a spicy noodle soup dish. Nagasari, a rice snack with Indonesian origins. Nasi goreng, steamed rice stir fried in a wok, often mixed with other ingredients, such as eggs, vegetables and meat. Nasi lemak, a fragrant rice dish cooked in coconut milk and pandan leaf. Otak otak, ota, spicy fish cake grilled in a banana leaf wrapping. Pasel lele, fried catfish served with chili paste. Raan, beef soup. Rajak bandung, a variant of Singaporean style rajak. Roti john, an omelet sandwich. Sambal, not a dish in itself, but a common chili based accompaniment to most foods. Satay, grilled meat on skewers served with satay sauce, a spicy peanut sauce, and usually eaten with katupat, cucumber and onions. Sayur lode, a mix of vegetables and coconut milk. Soto, a soup dish mainly composed of meat and vegetables. Soto ayam, a spicy chicken soup that features chicken shreds, rice cakes and sometimes vegetal. Tumpung, a cone-shaped rice dish of Javanese origin. It is served with side dishes of vegetables and meat. Indian Like other Singaporean ethnic cuisines, Singaporean Indian cuisine has been influenced by multiple cultural groups. Dishes from both North India and South India can be found in Singapore. Appam, a fermented rice pancake. Murtabak, an Indian Muslim dish originating from the Middle East. It consists of folded dough stuffed with spiced minced meat, onions and egg, and is often served with curry. Naan, an Indian oven baked flatbread. Putu Mayam rice flour noodle served with sugar and coconut usually eaten for breakfast. Roti Prada, a local evolution of the Pakistani and Indian paratha. It is a popular dish for breakfast and supper. It is a fried bread pancake that is crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. The dough is flipped to attain the right texture, then cooked quickly on a greased stove and served with curry or sugar. A plethora of modern variations are available, including egg, cheese, chocolate, masala, durian and even ice cream. Soup Kambing, a local Tamil Muslim dish of spiced mutton soup. Soup tulang, a local Tamil Muslim dish of mutton or beef leg bones stewed in a spicy red sauce. The bones are broken to allow the marrow to be eaten. Tandoori chicken, chicken marinated in a mixture of spices and yogurt and cooked in a clay oven. Dosa, rice and lentil pancake. Commonly served as a masala version that includes spiced potatoes and is served with different types of sambar. Badai, spicy, deep-fried snacks that are made from dal, lentils or potato. Cross-cultural A number of dishes, listed below, can be considered as truly hybrid or multi-ethnic food. Ayam bua kaluak, a Peranakan dish of chicken stewed with spices and Southeast Asian black nuts, bua kaluak. Cereal prawns, my pian sha my pian sha, stir fried prawns with sweetened cereal. Curry laksa, a Peranakan dish of vermicelli noodles and fried bean curd served in a creamy coconut sauce with slices of shrimp, fish, and cockles. Can be served in a tamarind filled variant with shredded mackerel and mangosteen. Fish head curry, a dish created by Singapore's Malayali, an Indian ethnic group from Kerala, community with some Chinese and Malay influences. The head of a red snapper, ikan mara, literally, red fish, stewed in curry consisting of varying amounts of coconut milk and tamarind juice, along with vegetables, okra and eggplant are common. Usually served with either rice or bread. 
Kari de Bal, a Eurasian Singaporean curry dish with Portuguese and Peranakan influences. Includes chicken, cabbage, sausage, and bacon pieces stewed in a curry sauce. Kari Lamak Ayam, a Peranakan chicken curry with a coconut milk base. Katong Laksa, a Singaporean thick rice noodles bihun, in a coconut curry gravy with prawn and egg. Sometimes chicken, tau pak, bean curd puffs, or fish cake may be added. Kue Pai Tea, a thin and crispy pastry tart shell filled with a spicy, sweet mixture of thinly sliced vegetables and prawns. Mi Goreng, yellow egg noodles stir-fried with ghee, tomato sauce, chili, eggs, vegetables, and various meats and seafood. Rajak, a traditional fruit and vegetable salad dish of Indian origin and with Malay, Indonesian influences. Sambal Kangkong, a dish of water spinach, Kangkong, fried in sambal. Satay bihun, rice noodles served with cuttlefish, fried bean curd puffs, cockles and water spinach in satay sauce. Tauhu goreng, fried bean curd with sweet sauce. Kue tutu steamed rice flour pastries with a sweet shredded coconut or peanut filling. Chili crab pasta, pasta served with chili crab. Western food, in hawker centers where Singapore style. Chicken chop topped with black pepper or mushroom sauce, chicken cutlet, pork chop are available. These are usually served with fries, mashed potato, coleslaw and baked beans. Biryani, Indian variant, or Nasi Biryani, Malay variant, a popular mixed rice dish commonly found in places offering Malay or Indian food. Seafood Singaporeans also enjoy a wide variety of seafood including fish, squid, known as sotong in Malay, stingray, crab, lobster, clams, and oysters. Popular seafood dishes include Sambal stingray, hang here, hong yu hong yu gong yu, smothered in sambal and served on banana leaf, also known as ikan bakar in Malay. Black pepper crab, hard shell crabs cooked in a black pepper sauce. Salted egg crab and buttermilk crab are also common. Chili crab, hard shell crabs cooked in chili sauce, usually served with man tou, or deep fried buns. Oyster omelet, an oyster omelet mixed with flour and fried, served garnished with coriander. Sambal lala, soft shell clams fried with sambal sauce. Fruit A wide variety of tropical fruits are available all year round. By far the most well known is the durian, known as the king of fruits which produces a characteristic odor from the creamy yellow custard-like flesh within its spiky green or brown shell. Durians are banned on public transport, elevators, certain hotels, and public buildings because of their strong odor. Other popular tropical fruits include mangosteen, jackfruit, longan, lychee, rambutan, soursoup, pineapple and mango. Some of these fruits also are used as ingredients for other dishes, iced desserts, sweet and sour pork, and certain types of salads such as rajak. Desserts Singaporean desserts have a varied history. A typical food court or hawker center dessert stall will usually have a large variety of desserts available, including but not limited to Bubor cha cha, a dish of pearled sago, sweet potatoes, yams, bananas, black eyed peas, pandan leaves, sugar, and salt cooked in coconut milk and served hot or cold. Chendal, basic version consists of pandan jelly strips with coconut milk and gula malacca syrup with shaved ice. Other ingredients which could be added are red beans, sweet corns, ice cream, and even durians. Cheng Tng, Ching Tang Ching Tang, a light, refreshing soup with longan, barley, agar strips, lotus seeds and a sweet syrup, served either hot or cold. It is analogous to the Cantonese Ching Bo Liang. Ice Kakang, a mound of grated ice on a base consisting of jelly, red beans, corn and atop seeds, topped with various kinds of colored sugar syrups, palm sugar, rose syrup and evaporated milk. 
Kuih or kue, small cakes or coconut milk-based desserts that come in a variety of flavors, usually containing fruits such as durian or banana. Pandan is a common flavoring. Kue lapis is a rich, multi-layered cake-style kue using a large amount of egg whites and studded with prunes. Lapis segu is also a popular kue with layers of alternating color and a sweet, coconut taste. Orh ne, uni uni, a teochew dish consisting of taro, locally known as yam, paste, coconut paste and ginkgo nuts. Pulit hitam, a creamy dessert made of black glutinous rice and served with coconut cream. Tao suan, do shuang do shuang, mung beans in jelly, served hot with dough crullers. Ice cream sandwich Wafer ice cream sandwiches are a popular dish sold by street vendors operating carts on busy street corners. These carts carry a variety of flavors, including but not limited to vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, coffee, sweet corn, coconut, and durian. While some vendors sell their ice cream in cups or cones, as is common in the West, the more popular variant is on slices of bread or between wafers. The ice cream consists of sealed blocks which are sliced to order and then placed on a single slice of oversized, often multicolored bread. This can be either white bread or a slice of multicolored, slightly sweetened bread, dyed with food coloring and flavored with pandan leaf extract. A sandwich costs around $1 but may cost up to $2 or more in downtown areas and tourist spots. Drinks and beverages Popular Singaporean drinks include Bandung, rose syrup with evaporated milk. Beer in Singapore Chin Chow Drink, Xi'an Sao Shui, Xi'an Sao Shui, grass jelly made into a sweet beverage. Kopi the local coffee in Singapore Lemon Barley Drink Milo, chocolate, malt milk drink. Variations include the Milo Dinosaur, a standard Milo drink topped with a scoop of Milo powder. Sugarcane juice, usually blended to order from fresh sugarcane stocks. Teh Halia Tariq, ginger tea with pulled milk Tariq. Union coffee, kopi, and tea, Teh mixed in equal proportions. Singaporean dishes uncommon in Singapore. Singapore style noodles, Xing Zhou Chow Mi Fen, Xing Zhou Chow Mi Fen, an American Chinese dish featuring fried rice vermicelli flavored with yellow curry powder, is not commonly found in Singapore. The close relative to this dish is fried bee hoon thin rice noodles. Singapore Sling, while the cocktail was invented in Singapore's Raffles Hotel, and is still served at the hotel's Long Bar, it is not common in most Singaporean bars. Singapore Fried Kuei Tiao, Xing Zhou Chow Guo Tiao, Xing Zhou Chow Guo Tiao, a dish featuring fried thick flat rice noodles flavored with dark soy sauce commonly available in some Chinese restaurants in Canada and the United States, is also not a Singaporean dish. The dish most resembling it is Char Kuei Tiao. See also List of Singaporean dishes Culture of Singapore Cuisine of Malaysia Kopitiam Gastronomy in Singapore References External links Wholesale Fruit Singapore Mui's Halal Certified Eating Establishments Singapore Foodie Forums